think my, my only question along those lines would be at what point does it start to turn into a team, more of a team focus as opposed to an individual focus? Because when you're a kid, when you're young, you're just trying to figure out how to play the game. So that you're not worried about team stuff yet because I'm just trying to figure out how to do a crossover, 100%. man. Right. So if I, I can't do a crossover, I need to figure that out first before I worry about passing to my friend. Or if I can't skate with the puck on my stick, just taking that for granted. If I have to stare at the puck to do my stick handles, that I'm not worried about passing yet. I need to figure out how to do that. So at what point along the development path do you feel it should be we're, we're starting to introduce more team concepts or, or team success equals my success and those kind of things? Yeah, it, nothing, it's nothing drastic. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the little language that you have, right? So um, I would say, like, I, this is maybe it's a year earlier, maybe it's a year yeah, later, like a, maybe it's a, a level. Just a line to say but a line, I'd say yeah. once you start getting to the 9-10, eight, nine, 10, and you're on a team and you're, you're playing against other teams. Like when you're playing the cross ice or the, you know, the introductory levels of obviously you just go mm -hmm. have fun. Once you start playing for a team, like, especially if you're playing for a travel team at eight, nine years old, then I think it's very important to introduce the team concept to your kid, not a lecture. It's not anything huge, but it's like you talk about the team. Yeah, it's a little trying to bring like the concepts who, in. Yeah. Who are you guys playing against? So you guys have a, like just I, I don't want to sound like stupid here, but who you, who you guys have a good team? I hope your team does well today, not just you. That's a little thing. Um, oh, did you see Eric today? Did you see that nice pass that he made? Do you, do you, you know passing the puck or making other you know like just suggesting, not even telling them, suggesting that. Um, that there's a team, not just about you. That's that's all. It's not it's it's not a, a hardcore. You're not going to be captain at, at at nine years old. You don't have to be Mark Messi at nine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. But it's being aware that. <laughs> but it, it's being aware. Yeah. That it's a team sport, and 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 so another another conversation is so. What did the coach say to you guys today, before the game or after the game? Uh, uh nothing. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Uh, he always said that let's really pass the puck. And then it's like, oh, okay. Did you, did you listen to the coach? Did you understand, do you understand why that is? And just, it's not rocket science. It's just asking questions. Don't be too crazy about it. Okay. Yeah. At a young age. So I, I think the, the idea is, like I said there a couple of times is the, you're, you're starting to introduce the idea that there's a team. It doesn't have to be, you're teaching them about the team. It's just, we're saying things that let them know that there's a team. So now one other point is, what about situations where, let's say, up to probably, I would say around 12, if I had to put a number on it, there can be a very disproportionate level of skill distribution on the team. So if you have a kid that's better, we've, taught, we've kind of touched on this idea before, how if your kid just keeps the puck, he'll probably score because he's better. You know, So let's say your kid is the, is the best skater on the team and he's 10 or 11. So that kid can maybe do the end enders and score, or he can shoot better than everybody. So if he just shoots, then he'll probably score more than not, or more than anyone else. So if he gets the puck in a scoring area, like, bud, you got to sh just shoot the puck because you'll probably score. So what about that kind of idea where the kid is just better than everyone or better than a lot of the kids on the team? How do you, as a parent, how do you navigate balancing because from the kid's perspective too it's like that's frustrating it's like if i pass the kid and he can't catch the pass but dad like why can't just he can't do anything with it you yeah. know so what let's talk a little about that well situation. can i go both sides yeah for sure okay so first let's take the, the the kid that has all the skill talents and whatever parents are doing you it's it's not about getting the goal especially young i don't care if you're 12 i don't care it's about making other people better and i know a lot of people don't understand exactly what that means but Yes, and in, in maybe a real important situation, you you want you want to push them to get the goal or whatever to to win the game. But as as parents, as coaches, you want to also suggest very strongly to to help other people be better. And 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 you don't have to say it in those words. It's just like you're such a good hockey player, Eric, right now, that we can count on you to score when we need to. But why don't we why don't we try every now and then looking at Eric hasn't got only got two goals this year and. You can set them up. Imagine how good that'll make them feel. That's one way. Parents is the same thing. It's you're suggesting 
while you're doing really good, like you don't minimize it. It's awesome. You're doing really well, but let's always remember that we got other team. It's not to take away their uh, individual accomplishments, but let's, let's try making someone else get a goal. So maybe today, instead of taking a shot every time you can, maybe you try to, hold on to the puck and look for someone to go to that. Talk to your teammates. Tell them, say, when I get the puck, just go to the net. I'm going to get it to you. Or go here, and I'm going to pass you the puck, and you try to score. It's a little simple. I'm a kid, talking like a kid, right? From the other side of the of the point is this is where it's really, really difficult. So, actually, it's difficult from both sides. You got the individual skilled guy and the parents that, of course, you want to see that. When you go on the ice anywhere in the world, if you're the best guy on the ice, of course, you're going to feel good about that and you know and you probably get frustrated with other parent people as a parent say well the kid can't pass the puck just shoot hey eric just go shoot just put the puck in the net and and do your thing because these guys are shit that's that's very very typical not really the best thing to tell your kid but that's that's an issue so if i was that parent which at some points in my life for my kid i was that parent and and it was like make other people better that was the message i always sent to my son always make other people better and it's about the team. Like rising tide raises all ships. So if we take the now we take the kid that or the family that has a kid that's struggling, maybe he's not as good. And it's like, or 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 it's you and me on the team, and you're like just I'm maybe second or third best, and you're just way better than me. So well, how do you deal with that as a parent? How do you deal with that as a kid? It's real easy to be jealous. It's real easy to try to knock him down and say, Yeah, but he should pass part and all that kind of stuff. But me? Because we've had this too. Is that we've had both sides of it. It's like, yeah, that, dude, he, that, that's a good hockey player. Did, but did you see how he made that play? If you if you try to be, or if you try to make plays like that guy, or if you work hard like that guy, that your team is going to be that much better, or you're going to be that much better. And 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 of course, it's don't worry about how. Just keep doing the thing to make your team better. And that message always was a good message, you know. And and and. Were there times in youth hockey, not so much points was not a issue, but that's where it was really important for me as a dad, as a coach and whatever. I recognized that there was a, a certain level of skill and, and talent and, and passion for hockey um, that I would pick out other things that he did well. So it was never about the goal. I would, I would find the smallest thing to say that was great. So if he, at an early age, if someone kind of bumped into one of his fr- his buddies on his team or did something that was that he didn't like he would stand up for that teammate and i would say good job for that like because you know luke luke didn't know what to do there and you you helped him and it'd be like great or would someone blocked a shot or like caught something out the guys that did the the smallest levels of stuff i always showed him that that's important or when he did something very small i would i would praise that not the big thing yeah i want to touch on the points thing too a little bit because people get so so caught up on points so two two things first points up until you're 14 are basically irrelevant other than it makes you feel good to get a lot so if you're the top goal scorer when you're 10 or 11 or 12 it is so close to irrelevant that it's laughable that people take it that serious because it just does not matter because once for especially for boys 13 14 15 16 things are changing year to year like you would not believe so if your kid is the one that's scoring 100 goals a year when they're 8 9 10 11 that's great like i know that's super fun and enjoy it but that ain't happening for much longer because as soon as that those those that puberty sets in and kids start to get competitive and heights even out weights even out and everyone starts to really develop and be more serious about playing that that changes there's not many 100 goal scorers that play triple a when they're 15 16 so that's the first thing. Second thing is, even as you get older with points, unless you are the two-point-a-game guy where you're just getting so many points that it's ridiculous, an extra like 10 or 15 points a year isn't going to make that much of a difference. So if you're, if you're talking about the difference between a point per game and 1.2 points per game, and to get those extra 10, you played more selfish people notice the more selfish. So it's not necessarily of benefit to you to be scrapping for more points. You know, or the kid that's always telling the referee who got the assist or th- those types of things, it's not actually of benefit to you. So when we talk about, you know, points points aren't everything and 
those types of concepts. Obviously, they're a first indicator that people look at. But if you're not the guy that's just getting so many that it's crazy, then it's not going to make or break you anyways. You know, the difference between 0.8 points per game and 1.2 points per game is not that different, you know? So if the guy that's getting 0.8 per game does things right, and the guy that's getting 1.3 or 1.5 per game doesn't know how to play properly, the scouts notice that. It's not enough points where you're going to be a top three round pick yeah. or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I think that's just important to lay yeah, out. Yeah, and, and it's like I'll never tell anybody to not, like... Yeah, of course. Like, of the course. goal is, obviously, if you can get, like, never settle for two. Yeah, of course. Right? But at the at the at not at the expense of your team or at the expense of not being a good hockey player. It's doing it the right way. So if you get two points a game, but you do everything right, your back checks, your D zone, your, like, and we're talking yellow kids, so they don't even understand half of that. But if you can do everything right and the effort's there and you've made plays the right way, then that's, that's, then of course, get as many as you possibly can. So, but it's the, the, the point that you're making is do it the right way. Right. And don't just make it uh, all about points. So anyways, the, the, the,